As college students, we usually don't have enough time for ourselves. We were running around campus, going to meetings, going to class, and completing homework assignments. This leads to feeling burnout and frustrated. One way to combat this issue is to set self-care goals. Today, I am going to walk through how to set self-care goals and how to track your healthy habits. At some point or another, we have tried to make goals for the new year. Most of the time, the goals don't stick. We either get too busy to keep going, or the effort to actually complete the goal is simply not worth it anymore. I was one of those people. I always wanted to incorporate healthier habits into my life, but they never seemed to stick. I ended up getting too busy and the enthusiasm I had to complete the goals faded away. This year, I decided to do something different. I decided to limit my goals and experiment with different ways to track them. Now, let's talk about how to make some goals. You have probably heard of SMART goals at some point or another during your high school or college career. The way I set my goals is derived from that, but not exactly. Step one, pick two to three things you want to improve or set time aside for. This should not be a school-related goal. Think about different hobbies or healthy habits you have always wanted to get involved in. Try to pick a goal that you could do weekly. Step two, decide how many times you want to work on this goal. If you decide to make your goals weekly, you can decide how many times a week you want to work on the goal. Step three, find a way to track your goals. This is where the habit tracker comes in. Having a habit tracker gives you an easy way to track your goals. It gives you the ability to have little accomplishments throughout the day. Step four, start now. You do not need to wait till the start of a new year to set goals and get started. You can start now and incorporate them into your schedule. The thing that matters most is that you have the want to incorporate the goal. It may be hard to think of healthy goals to do, so let's talk about them. Here is a list of possible healthy goals you can pick from. Hobbies. There are different types of hobbies you can try to wind down and relax. Some of these include crocheting, learning a new language, or even just coloring. Active hobbies. These are more physical activity oriented. You have running or the general working out, but you also have things like yoga. Then we have general self-care. These examples are aimed towards mental and emotional well-being. You could start drinking more water, try meditation, or start a skincare routine. You are not limited to these examples, and if you need any more ideas, you can always look them up online. Last, let's set up a tracker. It is difficult to keep track of everything that is going on in your life. The best way that I have found for new habits to stick is maintaining a tracker. Here is a picture of my weekly tracker with some of the goals I have for this year. I have the name of the goal on the first column. I don't do all of these every week, but having five different goals gives me the ability to choose which goals to do depending on the time I have. My goals for this year include reading, working out, drinking more water, skincare, and practice coding. Then, I have a column for each of the days of the week with check boxes inside of them. If I complete one of the goals, I check the box corresponding to the day. The next column, I have how often I would like to complete the tasks per week. Sometimes I am not able to reach this goal, but that is okay. What matters is that you try to incorporate them as much as you can. The last column is just letting me know how many check boxes I have picked for that specific goal. Since it is the start of the week, my habit tracker is currently empty. Another way to do it is by creating a table on paper and checking off the goals by hand, or you can also use an app on your phone to do the same. I realize it is difficult to incorporate new and healthy habits into your life, but even taking small steps such as this will make the difference. I hope this video has given you more insight in how to keep track of your habits. Good luck, Mountaineers!